Good afternoon. Yeah, I'm sitting in my studio and it's been raining for three days. Anyway, it's been raining, it's pouring, so driving around locally is a bit pointless. Anyhow, um, I've been working on a whole bunch of videos, some overlanding and one or two of the diving ones. But what we're going to do today is talk about overlanding books. Um, I've I don't know, I've probably got a thousand books. I don't know, I've got lots of books. Lots and lots of books. And I think that's really what inspires me a lot of the time. So, a long time ago, I started off listening to the talk about the Lost City, and I got some books on that. And then I used to climb, and there were books on that. And then my dream was to sail around the world alone. I've got lots and lots of books on sailing and single-handed sailing and expeditions and anyhow the the books that I've got here today are mostly overlanding so the first one is this book it's called a vehicle based expedition guide by Tom Shepard now Tom Shepard was in the British Air Force he led an expedition across the empty quarter of the Sahara uh, he was a pilot, a test pilot. I don't think he slays, I think he's retired. But really, amazing book. So in this book, everything is separated into categories. They talk about what tires you need and, what, and tents and clothing and stoves and communications and water purification and recovery and mechanical repairs and lashings, how to tie down your gear Basically, every single thing you could ever consider is in this book. So if there's one book you can buy, this is the book you need. I've been overlanding for 40 years, and I still get inspired when I read his, his things, in his stories and his advice. A, a, a little bit of it will be outdated, purely because materials have changed and things have changed, but the basics are all the same amazing amazing book so if there's one book this is the book you buy Tom Shepard then brought out another book called off-road driving once again whether you've been driving for one year two years ten years there's always something to learn and his books are amazing so it's not a particularly long book. He divides his books into chapters and he numbers the page per chapter, not the whole book. But he's got articles on how four-wheel drive systems work. He's got articles on compromises. In other words, if you buy a permanent four-wheel drive vehicle or a vehicle that you've got to lock the hubs or whatever. So... It's again a little bit out of dated because this is the old solid axle Hilux era. There's articles on loading your vehicle, how to distribute the weight, modifications, access, uh, GPSs. There's just a bit on everything. So Tom Shepard's other book, uh, Off-Roader Driving, really, really nice book. The first book that really got me going was this book by Michael Nicholson called Across the Limpopo. So Michael Nicholson was working in South Africa and in 1977 he decided to drive back to the UK. He bought a Range Rover and in those days because of apartheid and all the other things uh, you weren't allowed to, well Africa didn't want you to have anything that had South Africa stamped on it. So he had to go through all his clothing, his food, his tires. Every single item had to have the word South Africa cut off, scratched off, whatever. It, didn't, it wasn't allowed to have it. And then having been a Land Rover owner, I don't know why the hell he chose a Range Rover because they break down. But a lot of it is about breaking down, getting repairs, North Africa, um, just everything. So he traveled back with his wife and two kids. And this is their story. A really, really nice book. Probably after The Lost City got where that got me inspired, this book I reread probably three times. Really, really great book.
And while we're still strictly on 4x4s and overlanding, this book, Expeditions and Exploration, is not strictly speaking only overland, it's a bit of everything. And there's some articles by Chris Bonington and a few other well-known expedition leaders. So this book by Nigel Gifford, I think Nigel Gifford may be may work with Tom Shepard in certain ways because this photograph here where they crossed the Sahara sorry it's a photograph out of Tom Shepard's book so I think maybe there's some collaboration also the cover of the color of the book is exactly the same as Tom Shepard's book but it's really nice it's just about adventures expeditions exploration so it's enough to get you inspired this book is not strictly overlanding but this, this book I actually used some of the references when I did my Lost City expedition planning because there's a reference in here to a guy called Michael Main who was he, he, he was somebody that nay the whole thing and said that the Lost City was actually just a rock formation but I got his information out of here so Mark and Delia Owens they were recently qualified and they went into the central Kalahari in Botswana and they went to study hyenas. So this book is just about their adventures. They were living in a tent in the middle of the desert. Uh, they drove in, so maybe overlanding, but then they bought a plane and they would fly backwards and forwards and track animals. And, but it's a really nice book to read. So if you're looking for something slightly unusual, not strictly overlanding it's a nice book and then in the same vein there's an Australian lady called Robin Davidson she's written two or three books this one I like the most she crossed Australia on camels the book was first published in 1980 so Robin got some camels and she crossed the desert alone uh, right across Australia subsequently she's written a book about riding camels in North Africa and then a trip she did in India I didn't enjoy the books they were okay but this book was really interesting and yeah something to get inspired you can always do something uh, who would have thought you could ride camels across Australia? Most people think camels are in Egypt and that sort of places. But another really nice read. Then when I got inspired from the comic book called Look and Learn about the Lost City and I started doing my research, this book came up by a lady called Faye Goldie. The book was no longer being published and I searched and I found this book in a second-hand bookshop in Longstreet. So it's not just available anywhere. But it's really interesting about the lost city and the traveling. And so when Farini went up, he took a wagon and oxen. And then subsequently, I think I was the second or third expedition to be led to look for the lost city. We obviously used 4x4s. We had 16 vehicles in teams of two and there was another expedition where they went up I think with two vehicles and an aeroplane uh, we had two micro lights and then there was another expedition that went up uh, not that long ago anyway nobody found anything but this was one of the really nice books that can give you a little bit of inspiration they've all inspired me I must say um, I think all of them have just said get off your butt and go and do something but these books are more related to overlanding and overland type of expeditions. So I hope you enjoy them. In the video I will put up the ISBN numbers. And you can see if you can find them. Some of them you'll probably have to get from second hand bookshops. Maybe eBay. But have a look. I hope you get inspired. I hope you enjoy them. And let me know. Maybe you've got some books I haven't read. Let me know what, what I should read. Thank you. All the best. Bye.